Alright guys, um, in this series I'm going to talk about um, harmonographs, um, what they are, how they work, how to go about building one, and some of the theory behind them. So this first video is sort of an introduction. Um, I'm going to go over what a harmonograph is, what a harmonograph isn't, different types, show you a few samples, and uh, tell you about my motivation for this series. Alright, so let's get started. What is a harmonograph? Um, basically a harmonograph is anything that uses pendulums to draw pictures, I guess would be the simple definition. Um, I don't know if there's a formal definition. I'll, uh, I'll just show you mine and I'll go into much more detail, but you can see I got pendulums and stuff. So that's what that is. Um, what is not a harmonograph? Um, not a harmonograph is something that a drawing machine that doesn't use pendulums. I have an example here, hypotrichoids, um, or any, any variation like that. I had a few of these somewhere. Just a minute. Alright, and here are a few examples of hypotrichoids. You can see they're line drawings, but they're very uniform. And there's no real changing in them. Which, they're cool. I have nothing against them. Alright, um, some basic terminology, I guess, before we go too far. A harmonograph can refer to the machine or the picture. I call this a harmonograph image, um, which makes the person doing it a harmonographer and makes the um, act of doing it harmonography. <laughs> I don't know if I made those up or not. Okay, so different types. Um, uh, there's a one pendulum type with uh, like a free axis pendulum hanging. Um, there's one of those in the Museum of Science in Boston. If you guys are familiar with that, there's a video on YouTube. A lot of two pendulum designs on YouTube as well. Um, basically two independent directions, which is good. Um, you can't get the kind of complexity I'm getting with four. Three pendulum rotary center is um, a great first one to build if you're interested. I'll link to Carl Sims' page, which is the reason I got into this about a year ago in the first place. Um, he has a lot of great information and plans. Then there's the four pendulum, which is what I have here. I'll show you that again. You can see two over here and two over here. And I'll explain much more about that later. Um, and Higher order pendulums? I'm not sure. Four is the most I've ever seen. Yeah, I suppose you could go to five and do like a bump interrupter like some of the other mechanical drawing machines have. But um, as far as independent motion for a two-dimensional drawing, four is about as high as you can go. All right, so I'll just show you a few samples. These ones here are from a uh, three pendulum that I had earlier. I can't show you that because it's disassembled. Um, I'll show you these real quick. These are some of the best ones I got. This yellow one is unbelievable. Look at that. Amazing. And the variation in these things. I like this one. And this is just an oddball. But still cool. All right, and four pendulums. Obviously, these are bigger because the machine's bigger, and I'll explain why later. Um, there's another one. And I mean, again, the variation in these is amazing. Here's a cool one. All right, so my motivation for doing this, um, I love harmonographs. I'm addicted. Um, I saw a Carl Sims video uh, a little less than a year ago, 
and built a three pendulum like right away. And then I designed this machine in my mind for last semester and then built it over winter break, which was a lot of fun, but you definitely do get addicted to it. Um, there's not a ton of information out there on these things. Uh, it's kind of a unique thing. Um, so my goal is to get a little more information about the subject out there and just uh, show some of the design changes I made in my machine to be able to do these bigger images. And on a final note, you know, it's, it's very interesting, the, the patterns and the complexity you can get out of these things when you show them to someone. They, they don't have a clue what they are, and it's fun. <laughs> uh, tell them you draw it by hand. I don't know. Um, and it's just, if, you're, if you like physics or math or engineering or design or graphic arts or really anything, I don't think there's a reason not to like these things. So um, stay tuned for the next video, and uh, I'll show you some more about the machine.